Coming up on Cardinals Insider. This organization has a great reputation for a reason and everything I've heard has been true since I've been here. Opening day was awesome, but it's just the latest great moment for Paul Goldschmidt. Plus, Cardinal baseball is different from anything else. People come from all over just to see the Cardinal play. We all love the red jackets. Go behind the scenes on a special day for the Cardinals Hall of Famers. And later, please welcome the majestic hometown Budweiser Clydesdales. We head to Warm Springs Ranch where the Budweiser Clydesdales are born. It's all ahead on Cardinals Insider. Opening day in St. Louis is an experience like no other. With all the pageantry of a major Hollywood movie. From the Clydesdales to the Hall of Famers. To the expectations of a new season. A time to remember where Cardinals baseball has been. The excellence on display in red jackets, along with the memories of the ones we have loved and have lost. A time to look back 40 years when a gold glove first baseman started his march towards an MVP season. And it's time to watch another gold glove first baseman begin his march. He's done it! Three home runs! Time to look back on the moments that defy logic. Yes! Two grand slams in one inning! And define our summers. The Cardinals are National League champions and this crowd is just simply bonkers. It's time for St. Louis to regain the title of baseball heaven. Diving, oh, what a catch by Tyler O'Neill! Wow, what a play! Colton Wong! Man, oh man, is that good! Into right! It's down! The Cardinals will walk it off for the ninth time this year! It's time to watch a living legend defy all critics and improve with age. Molina will send us home! Let's walk it off! Yachty's done it! It's time to watch young hurlers carry on the tradition of Cardinal pitching. Strike him out! 13 strikeouts today! Time to add another chapter to the history that is Cardinal Baseball. St. Louis Cardinals, time to fly. Welcome to a special Cardinals Insider. I'm your host, Ozzy Smith. Today we are talking home opener. There's nothing quite like it. And for Paul Goldschmidt, it was his first time as a Cardinal. Plus, he's fresh off an extension and a hot start to the season. It's been a special few weeks for the new first baseman. We're very pleased to officially announce that Paul Goldschmidt was signed a five-year extension and will be a Cardinal at least through the year 2024. Standing ovation for a Paul Goldschmidt. Paul follows a tradition, I said this when we made the deal for him, of great Cardinal first baseman, MVPs, All-Stars, Hall of Famers, and of course he fits right in with that group. It's exciting, It's uh, you know, there's a lot of tradition here, a lot of great players and championship teams, and hopefully just uh, try to help these guys carry on that tradition. In the center, at the track, at the wall, his first at home. I was just excited when I got traded over here, to be honest, and you know, didn't know if it was gonna be just for one year, or shorter or longer, and I mean, my experience has been great so, so far. Make your first impression, do it in the home opener, and Goldschmidt has done it today. You know, this organization has a great reputation for a reason and everything I've heard has been true since I've been here and, you know, it's just exciting to be, be part of the team. You know, they're trusting us to allow this to be their home 
for the next six years, and I, and I think that's wonderful news. Everything I heard about St. Louis and the organization, you know, has been been more than great, whether it's from past players that have been here, coaches, current players now getting to meet all these guys. So definitely felt confident in that. Everything's been true, probably more than true, the way the organization is run. I mean, going into St. Louis a couple times in the offseason, I mean, I, I knew I'd like it. There's not really anything to, to dislike. And I'm glad the feeling was mutual because, I mean, it's just exciting to be part of this tradition and hopefully we'll do some great things here. The game isn't the only show at the home opener. Fans get to arrive early to see the Red Jackets take a trip around the warning track. Cardinal baseball is different from anything else. People come from all over just to see the Cardinal play baseball in the home opener. It, it, it doesn't happen that many in, a, in other cities up for other things to do that. But that is Cardinal baseball. I'm not a vain guy, but I like riding around in, in convertibles. I'll tell you, I got I to gotta tell you, I like that. I could, uh, I could do that more than once a year, to tell you the truth. It's fun. Be part of St. Louis' legacy is an incredible thing in the industry of Major League Baseball. I'm a lucky boy. Had a charmed life my whole life, and it's just real, real special. Just think about it. We're in this red jacket with, you know, with Lou Rock, my Gibson, Jim Edmond, Vince Coleman, Willie McGee. Ozzy Smith. I mean, it's a great feeling. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. It's a wonderful day. It seems like it's a holiday all over. Driving here today to the ballpark at noon, I couldn't believe all the school buses that were out. The kids were getting off of school to either come to the game or watch it on TV. And it seems to get bigger and better every year. Getting new stories. That's it. That's it. The beauty of it. I mean, I could listen to Whitey Herzog tell stories about Mantle and, and uh, guys like that. And matter of fact, he told told me one today that I can't tell uh, on the air, but it was it was great. It's, it's just fun to see ex teammates and to see Bob, of course, Bob Gibson, number forty five and number twenty Lou Brock, and all the guys that we had, had enormous success in the sixties uh, as teammates. It's really a lot of fun. Straight ahead on Cardinals Insider. Kind of a dream come true. We're headed to Warm Springs Ranch to see where the Budweiser Clydesdales are bred. Also coming up. Opening day in St. Louis is like no other. We show you how St. Louis makes the first home game a de facto holiday. You see the hometown Budweiser Clydesdales on opening day each year. But where do these gentle giants call their home? Our Emily Stevens travels to Boonville, Missouri to see where Clydesdales are born. Please welcome the majestic hometown Budweiser Clydesdales. Here comes the king, the king of baseball that is. The iconic song, Here Comes the King, was written as a Budweiser jingle in 1971. And it's no surprise, when you hear the song, you know it's opening day in St. Louis. Seeing the Clydesdales makes St. Louis natives feel at home. But where do these gentle giants call their home before the big day? Just two hours away from Bush Stadium, baby Clydesdales are taking their very first steps right here at Warm Springs Ranch. And Stan the man here was one of them. In Boonville, Missouri lies 340 acres of land known as Warm Springs Ranch, the official breeding facility to the Budweiser Clydesdales. We met the ranch supervisor who takes care of all 70 Clydesdales that live there. Never had a real job. I've always had a job with horses, and uh, so which is which is neat, you know. And, and I had the opportunity when I was 21 to come to, to ask me if, they, if I'd like to uh, travel with the Budweiser Clydesdale West Coast Hitch, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and it's kind of all just kept rolling and, and here we are in mid-Missouri. Kind of a dream come true. You, you never thought in your wildest days at 17 or 18 that you'd be you know, breeding the Budweiser Clydesdales. John has helped deliver over 500 baby Clydesdales, with each Clydesdale weighing an average of 150 pounds. Yeah, that's only a baby. Full grown, these guys weigh up to 2,300 pounds. 
We actually put what we call a full alert onto the mare, and, and what it does, it calls my cell phone, which gives me the, like, baby's on the way. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's been really good. Oh, good. No, no, I have a totally different ringtone. The babies live at Warm Springs Ranch for about a year. After that, they head down to Grant's farm and on to New Hampshire for training. Once they're four years old, they travel with different hitch teams across the country. You have a lot of satisfaction from, from the, the first few hours of their birth to weaning them and you're working with them and, and seeing how they, they progress and then seeing them out on the hitch, you know, or seeing one of our, our moms giving birth that was one of our babies. Clydesdales have been St. Louis natives since the 1930s. An opening day in St. Louis is just as much of a tradition to them as it is to us. For Cardinals Insider, I'm Emily Stevens. Straight ahead. It's like Christmas. Yeah, Christmas Day. Inside Bush is the place to be during a home opener. But there's a lot happening outside before the game, too. That's coming up. Plus... Well, you know what? I've had a lot of great opening days, but uh, this is a topper right now. I feel really good. Do you remember this moment? Relive some all-time great home opener memories later in the show. Have you listened to the Cardinals Insider Podcast yet? Each week, the show welcomes players, executives, and alumni. Plus, hear audio from the Cardinals Radio Archives. Take Cardinal Baseball with you on the Cardinals Insider Podcast. Listen or subscribe wherever you get your podcast or at cardinals.com slash podcast. The ballpark is always beautiful, but it's extra just up for the home opener. Special bunting is added to mark the start of a brand new season. The bunting gives the stadium a little extra pop for opening day and it provides a little bit extra beauty. The stadium is obviously beautiful in itself, but again, that little extra pop for opening day. We've been providing the bunting for opening day for about 25 years now. We also provide it for any time the Cardinals make the playoffs, World Series, things like that. So they're just going around. They're going to put it up on the railing, obviously, stretch it out a little bit and secure it with zip ties. And give it a stretch at the end there to make it nice and crisp and make sure they're straight. They're, they're pretty much positioned all over the stadium, hanging from the railing so that fans can see them. We've got some out in the front of the stadium as well at the entry area, so they're visible there. The process is usually about four to six guys of our, our labor crew will come out. Uh, they get here pretty early. They put up 200 for opening day and more if we make it to the playoffs in the World Series. So hopefully we'll be back to put out more later this year. Opening day is not just the first home game of the year. It's an unofficial holiday to Cardinal fans everywhere. Let's dive into the sea of red outside the stadium. Oh, there's nothing like this. I mean, I know they want to make it a holiday in St. Louis, right? So there's nothing like it. There's just, you know, I tell everybody opening day in St. Louis is like no other. It's like Christmas. Christmas Day, you open or you open presents. The Clydesdales come out, the Hall of Famers, and the team each year. We keep coming back because of things like this: the camaraderie, the people, everyone uh, excited uh, watching the Cardinals win. Everybody wears red. I mean, you may not go to the game, but everybody downtown's wearing red to work, and they all take off for a red flu in the afternoon. Gosh, we've been here every year since 2002. Um, it's just an amazing day. It's just like the hope for a new season because there's the best team in the world. It's time for this week's trivia question. The home opener ended on a walk-off in 2017. Which player delivered the game-winning hit? Was it Yadier Molina, Jose Martinez, Colton Wong, or Randall Gritchett? The answer when we return. We're back with the answer to this week's trivia question. We asked which player walked off the 2017 home opener. The answer is Randall Gritchett. The former Cards outfielder helped defeat the Cubs 4-3 with a game-winning single off Mike Montgomery. Home opener heroics extend beyond Gritchick. Here's Brett McMillan with more memories from opener's past. The home opener in St. Louis. 
It's a tradition and a spectacle unique to anything else in sports. It's special no matter what, but sometimes there's memories that stand out. So here's just a few you might remember from the past 25 years. The first is April 8, 1997. The Cardinals and Expos were tied 1-1 in the bottom of the ninth with Willie McGee at the dish. It's gone! Yeah! It's gone! It's gone! Oh, it was dramatic again a year later. March 31st, 1998, Mark McGuire smacked the first of 70 home runs that season, a grand slam as the Cardinals rolled past the Dodgers 6-0. Going around the base, it's packed house opening day. They were geeked up anyway. Yeah. Well, I, you know what? I've had a lot of great opening days, but uh, this is a topper right now. I feel really good. Jump to April 10, 2006, the first home opener at Bush Stadium 3, a 4 2 lead for starting pitcher Mark Mulder, and he gave himself even more breathing room. Mulder hits one to deep right center field at the wall. Home run, Mark Mulder. St. Louis went on to win 6-4. On to April 2, 2017. The Cardinals hosting the Cubs on national television for opening day. With the final at-bat, Randall Gritchick broke a 3-3 tie, making sure that Chicago spoiled nothing. Fastball ripped hard, deep left center field, and that's your ball game. Every year is special off the field, some are just a little more special on it. But either way, there's nothing like a home opener in St. Louis. For Cardinals Insider, I'm Brett McMillan. Coming up. It's a pretty special and cool thing to get to do. We ask a Cardinal about the home opener. Stay with us. This season, the team debuted a new home opener pin playing off of the revival of the powder blue uniforms. But pins are nothing new to baseball. In fact, they've been a staple for over 100 years. And the DeWitt family has one of the best known collections of vintage press pins. I remember being a little kid and sort of walking into my grandfather's home office. And he had these press pins on the wall where he had framed them up. And of course, press pins are well-known collectibles because in 1911, when members of the press would need something to show they had a credential to the press box. And so they started making these elaborate pins with ribbons on them and, and it would indicate which World Series you were at. And it became your badge of entry. You put it on your sport coat and, and that was it. Now, of course, it's credentials, but the tradition continues. And even this year, the World Series participants uh, made press pins. And it's just because of that great tradition that baseball keeps. And I think people like to collect those. You know somebody wore that pin, and it might have been my grandfather, a lot of them he collected, but somebody wore that pin at that World Series game. And so not only are they visually interesting when they're all pulled together and they tell the story of, of the World Series participant teams, but they also kind of literally were there to see the action. So even though it's an inanimate object, it's been to many fun and interesting places, including those World Series games way back. We know fans love the home opener, but what about the players? We asked them on this week's Ask a Cardinal. Any opening day at home is, is a lot of fun too. Just, you know, get the horses and the trucks going around the field. That's a, it's a pretty special and cool thing to get to do. Heard about Clydesdales and uh, there's vehicles involved. You, know, you ride in the back of a convertible or a pickup truck or something. So I, I've heard it's a, a great event. I've heard from people that are, you know, involved in the baseball world and people are just from the St. Louis area that it's, uh, it's a big deal. It's hard not to appreciate the Red Jackets and the guys that have been out there before you and, and kind of carried the legacy of what it means to be a St. Louis Cardinal. I'm a big fan of that, the history and the tradition of uh, what makes us arguably the best organization in sports. So. The fans and you know they're there, I don't know, a couple hours before the game, the stadium's full, it's, it's awesome. It's always special. You know, being able to see the Clydesdales uh, doing the uh, uh, parade like you know uh, in the back of the truck saying hi to the fans it's always so cool yeah, I think just a tradition um, that the, the organization's been going through and all the winning teams and all the great players and everyone that comes back and I know you know the city probably shuts down and gets ready for, for opening day and 
it's just really, you know, going to be an honor to be part of that. That's it for this week, but Cardinals Insider is always online. See full episodes and individual stories at cardinals.com slash insider and the club's YouTube page. We leave you with the sights and sounds of the home opener.